Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. Right, it's, well, today is one for the newbies. Okay, I'm, I said I'm going to start doing a few tutorials and I uh, thought where best to start than at the very beginning and uh, do a little video explaining for the newbies exactly what e-cigs are and uh, how they work and uh, as such. So, the, the very basic what an e-cigarette is it's a battery okay or a power source you know a, a battery basically and that connects to a piece of wire canthal wire and the battery heats up that canthal wire and they have some kind of delivery system which gets juice onto that wire which when it's heated up it evaporates and you then inhale that uh, that wire you know you think like in a light bulb we'd have two posts and a little wire between it and you turn the light on that, that glows very bright well, not quite as extreme as that but a similar a similar theory you know you have the battery connected to two posts with a wire between the wire in this case they usually make it out of canthal and you press fire and it heats up that um, that wire which then obviously evaporates any juice which is on it and uh, they have many ways of delivering juice to to that um, coil Okay, when you first start vaping, probably the first <coughs> um, e-cigarette you're going to come across is your disposable um, cigalike, you know, it's like this one, I have one here, it's a Socialites, electric cigarettes disposable, 225 US blend, and these are disposable. It's 225 puffs, so that's obviously why it's called a 225. And you get it's very much like a cigarette, but in this, here will be your battery, <coughs> and your coil will be in here, and there'll be a little bit of juice in there. So that and that are very, you know, in this, that's your battery, your coil is in there, and your juice is in there. With this, that is your battery, and your coil and juice are in here. So, and to activate this, you just puff, just and away you go. It's very much like a cigarette. And uh, yeah, for somebody first starting vaping or switching from cigarettes to vaping, these going very useful. I use these um, a bit when I first started uh, vaping. They yeah, they'll come in very useful. <coughs> also, they do a little bit more advanced than that. Is your rechargeable cigalikes? So let you see, it's a bit bigger, so it'll have a more powerful battery. And that's your battery, and this is your cartridge that has your coil and your juice in it. And you can recharge that battery, it comes with a little charger, you screw it in and plug it into a USB and it charges that back up. And you screw it onto your cartridge, you buy packs of new cartridges for it and uh, when it runs out of juice you just put a new cartridge on there again useful for a very new vapor but I think you'll soon uh, you soon grow out of those. Probably your next step from that <coughs> is um, 
what they call your, your generation one, which are your, which you've probably seen people about vaping, which is this kind of battery or this kind of battery or, or you know, this kind of battery, which again, it's just the same as the battery part here, but on these, you fix what's called a cartonizer onto it there and these are you refill these yourself you buy bottles of juice with you know rather than buying the whole cartridge you buy these and you just refill them with juice and you simply to, to recharge that again you screw it in to the charger plug it into a USB and where you go you buy your know, these are called CE4 Cartomizers, because the the wire glowing part is called an atomizer that actually vaporizes the wire that heats up, and because it has a cartridge that holds your juice, they call it a cartomizer. As you can see, there's a lot more vapor coming from that. Gives a much more satisfying vape, a much more satisfying throat hit, does uh, that that kind of thing. So for somebody just stopping smoking and moving on to vaping, that would be more the type of thing I'd recommend, rather than your cigar likes. I think your cigar likes might not quite cut it for giving you the satisfaction that you need. But these tanks aren't the most sophisticated of tanks and often they break on you or they leak or they're not great to get a better vape I'd recommend a better tank and actually the setup that I used for a long time I would say I stopped smoking <coughs> and began vaping on that setup that very vision spinner there and these I then moved up to a more complex, complicated tank, which is the Aspire Nautilus, which is a brilliant tank. I still use the mini version of this to this day when I'm out and about. Let's see, that's the original Nautilus. This is the mini version. I still use that to this day as my everyday vape when I'm out and about driving. And. Um, <coughs> Let's not forget the beauty ring, shall we? And there we go. And you can get one of these vision spinners for about 22 English pounds and an Aspire Nautilus for about 25 English pounds, so 40 pounds and that would definitely stop you smoking you you could you could vape that forever quite happily this actually has adjustable voltage on the bottom so you can adjust how much power is going to the coil which will then give you more vapor if you're able to turn the voltage up then it'll give more power to the coil which will make the coil hotter and evaporate more juice and you know as I say if you were a new vapor uh, just stopping smoking and starting vaping that would be what I would recommend you go for if you <coughs> wanted the SIG style you know because they also do box mods and a box mod is basically just your battery but in the shape of a box they come a lot smaller than this obviously but you just attach that on there 
and uh, as I say it's the same principle you know you have your battery two points a coil between them your juice which is fed to that coil it has cotton around and through the coil sitting in the juice which allows the juice to soak through a bit at a time so it doesn't like, drown it and it comes through the wick and And I still use that as my all day vape to this day. I'll take that out with me out and about vaping. That's a, an MVP, they call that, and an Aspire Nautilus. <laughs> yeah, a box mod is simply a better in the shape of a box rather than in the shape of a cigarette or a tube. <coughs> Many box mods have adjustable voltage and wattage. As I said, adjustable voltage. It just adjusts how much power is going to that coil, so how hot it is going to burn. But they soon found out that different coils of different lengths, you know, if the, if the coil has a few more turns, then the resistance in that coil will be different. So just controlling the voltage di didn't control your vape as precisely so they also added adjustable wattage which is much better for you to control your vape because if you set it to say 14 watts is when I vape normally mouth to lung type vaping and depending on whatever tank I put on there the machine will then adjust the volts so I'm getting 14 watts plenty of vapour, a lovely tank you know, some of the other terms you may hear people saying are sub ohm tanks I wouldn't recommend sub ohm tanks to the beginner mainly because you have to directly lung inhale a sub ohm tank and um, it doesn't mimic smoking exactly smoking you suck it into your mouth and then inhale to your lungs this is a sub ohm tank sub ohm just means that the coil the resistance of that coil is very low less than 0.1 ohms which means you need to put quite a lot of power through it and it will glow very hot, it can handle a lot of power and it will evaporate a lot of uh, juice so you'll get a lot of vapour for example you know, whereas a normal coin My, me myself, I still prefer mouth to lung inhale, like a cig like to mimic a cigarette. <clears throat> but there is something strangely satisfying about blowing out a massive cloud, and I have got more used to your sub ohm vaping. Because vaping at the higher temperatures, the higher volumes, you do tend to get the flavour of the juice quite a bit more. Uh, sub ohm <clears throat> just yeah basically means the resistance of the coil is less than one ohm so it'll take more power it'll get hotter and you'll get a lot more vapor production now, i wouldn't recommend you go jumping straight into sub ohm or by an atlantis tank straight off the bat i'd recommend you start with as i say maybe an i stick 20 watt that's a small little box mod cost you 25 pounds and uh, an aspire nautilus mini or a vision spinner like that and then a Spire Nautilus Mini. Try that out for a few months to stop you smoking. And then watch a few YouTube videos and uh, get further into it. Some of the other terms you may hear are mech mod. A mech mod <coughs> is just a, a mechanical mod, basically. It's, it doesn't include any electronic parts. It's just a battery in a tube. The, the 
positive end of the battery at the top will connect directly with one post and then the case will be connected to the other post and it'll have a switch usually on the bottom and when you press the switch it will make a circuit and connect and again um, heat up the coil you know mech mods are used mainly with RDAs <coughs> and there's another word for you an RDA stands for a rebuildable dripping atomizer which I'll just show you, you might not be able to see it really well on this video but a rebuildable dripping atomizer is one like that that doesn't include any sort of um, tank to hold your juice it just is quite basic it has two or three posts and you purchase the wire yourself wind your own coils to whatever whatever um, resistance you like <laughs> affix them coils to it and then you drip juice onto it a small amount at a time and then vape it again that's not something for beginners but it's something that you'll learn about as you prog progress further into vaping you know vaping can get very deep it can be as simple as just you as you like it you know it could be, can become a full-time hobby as it has done for many people or it can just be a way for you to stop smoking you know it's um, definitely worth a try I smoked for whew, over 20 years I can't think of the number exactly. over 20 years I'd, I'd um, thought I won't be able to stop smoking you know I've gone a day without a cigarette before you know on a flight to holiday I was pulling my hair out going crazy and uh, I tried these cigar likes actually on a plane to Turkey a couple of years ago and um, about three years ago and they weren't cutting it for me but I bought myself a vision spinner <coughs> and an Aspire Nautilus I got some Hansen Chinese juice not the best of juice but it has nicotine in it and uh, I had a cigarette before I did the school run. I came home, the postman had been, I assembled it, I put juice in it, and I've been a vapor ever since. I've smoked a handful of cigarettes since then, maybe three or four. You know, it's been well over six months since I even had a puff. You know, I found it quite easy. My wife, it took her about a year of uh, trying and she tried vaping it wasn't for her she went back to cigarettes she cut down and kind of vaped and smoked but she is now eight or nine weeks totally tobacco free just vaping and she's feeling the benefits from it you will feel a lot healthier quite quickly you know you'll find that your cardiovascular comes back you know you can run upstairs that you probably used to struggle to walk up and um, yeah I'd, I'd, the powers that be and they're trying to ban it or tax it but um, <clears throat> I don't know why they don't just recommend it as a way of stopping smoking because it is I think the best way of stopping smoking for millions of people all over the world you know in America <coughs> they're a lot more forward than us they've been vaping longer and they seem to embrace it quicker whereas over here in the UK a lot of vape shops are uh, a lot simpler they just carry one kind of juice and um, but they'll do the job for you if you visit a vape shop they'll be able to give you a battery similar to this and a cartridge like this with juice and uh, I reckon you give it a try it, uh, if it don't work for your first time, try it again. The trick is you have to get addicted to vaping rather than smoking. And then you can cut your nicotine down bit by bit. Because e-juice, it has nicotine in it, but you know exactly how much is in it. Either 3ml, 6ml, 9ml, 12, 18 or 24 milligrams. 
and you can work your way down through those stages right down to zero nicotine and and then stop as a way of stopping smoking I think it's second to none and definitely something you could try so that's just a little tutorial for you guys I hope you found it useful and I hope vaping stops you smoking I'll be uh, doing some more tutorials in the near future going a bit more in depth into things I just wanted to cover the basics on this first one so if you click the subscribe button uh, <coughs> I'll be uh, bringing you reviews news tutorials things of that nature it doesn't cost you anything and they'll let me know that there are people out there appreciating what I'm doing so uh, if you could click subscribe it would be appreciated uh, so this has been Future Vapors and I hope soon all you guys will be Future Vapors thanks for watching guys